Whether it's a bad habit or a substance or even something as simple as social media, addiction can feel like it has a control over our lives. But here's the good news. You can overcome it. That's what we're gonna be talking about in today's video. You know, five simple steps to help you overcome any addiction. These steps will be practical, actionable, and most importantly, they will help you regain control over your life. I, I have to do my part too, but let's try to dive into this together. Step one to overcome any addiction is Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me. The first and most important step is acknowledging uh, the problem and taking responsibility for it. It might sound super obvious, but many people, including myself, tend to, you know, get in denial about their addiction. You know, they'll tell themselves, oh, it's not a big deal, or that, you know, they have it under control. But deep down, you know it, I know it, we know when something has power over us. So take a moment and really reflect. Say it out loud if you have to, or even write it down if you have to. This is a problem and it's affecting my life. Taking ownership is empowering because what that basically means is you're ready on to make that change. Once you start to do these habits, you know, you're no longer gonna be ignoring the addiction. You'll be facing it head on and that's gonna be the first step of trying to break free. Step number two is Smoke weed every day. Whatever your addiction is, it's regardless what it is, it's fueled by something, usually most of the times. Whether it's stress, boredom, um, maybe social situations, or even, and this is a big one, even emotions, rather that could be you know loneliness or anxiety, depression, you name it. Think about the times that you're most likely are going to engage in your addiction behavior. It is after a long day at whether it's at work or school when you essentially are feeling overwhelmed. Once you pinpoint these triggers, you know, you can really start to take the first steps, you know, to avoid or manage them differently. For example, if stress is a major trigger, you can maybe develop, you know, healthier ways, you know, to cope with it, like, you know, exercising, you know, journaling or maybe most importantly, talking to a friend. We all need that little push from a friend or mentor, parent, or whatever. If social situations push you towards these, you know, unhealthy behaviors, you know, maybe if you have to try shifting your environment or limiting, you know, the time you spend in those settings. Awareness of your triggers is very crucial because it helps you understand why you're, you know, tuning into the addiction in the first place. Step number three is. Now, this is a big one. Replace the addiction with healthy habits. Nature essentially abhors like a vacuum, meaning uh, when you stop the one habit, you need to replace it with something else, or you're just gonna essentially fall right back to your old pattern. The goal isn't just to quit the addiction, but it's to kind of fill in the space, you know, and keep it occupied with something, you know, positive and beneficial for your life. For example, if you're trying to quit, let's say smoking, for example, or vaping, replace it with a habit that relaxes you, uh, like, you know, whether it's exercise or, chewing gum. If social media is your addiction, use the time for maybe reading books, picking up a hobby, whether it's sports with your friends. Essentially, the key is to find something that not only, you know, distracts you from the addiction, but also adds value to your life. Changing habits takes time. And I'll always say this one phrase, it's easier said than done. But little by little, the healthier choice will start to become the new normal. And remember, it's not about, you know, being perfect. It's about making progress each day, even if it's the littlest tiny bit of progress. It's better than nothing. Step four onto overcoming your addiction is... Step four is all about building a support system. Breaking an addiction is tough and you don't have to do it alone. Rather, it's friends, family, or 
And there's no shame of it, even if it means professional help. Having people you can, you know, lean to makes a huge difference. They can hold you, maybe accountable, you know, encourage you when you're struggling and, you know, celebrate your progress with you. If you are comfortable, share your journey with someone that you trust the most. It doesn't have to be everyone. But having at least one person who knows what you're going through can be you know, incredibly empowering. If you feel like you need more structured help, don't hesitate to reach out to a therapist or join a support group. There are so many people who have gone through what you're going through right now and being part of a community can make you feel less alone. Step five on overcoming addiction. And this is a super important one. Overcoming an addiction isn't something that happens overnight. There will be ups and downs, days where you feel strong and days where you might slip up. And that's okay. The important thing is, is to keep going forward. Consistency is key. Make a commitment to yourself every day, even when it's hard. If you slip, don't give up. Get back on track the next day. Celebrate small victories along the way. Rather, it's one day, one week, or one month without giving in. Every step forward is progress. Remember that this journey is about progress, not perfection. Remember that this journey is not a sprint, but a marathon. It's about moving forward and growing stronger each day at a time. So there you have it. Those are my five simple steps to overcome any addiction. Acknowledging the problem, identifying the triggers, um, replace the habits with good habits, healthy habits, build a support team, and most importantly, be patient and consistent with yourself. It's not always going to be easy, but you are stronger than you realize. Take things one day at a time, and before you know it, you'll start to see real change in your life. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. And if you're on a journey of overcoming an addiction and bad habits, let me know in the comments. I love to hear them. If that's something you're or okay or comfortable sharing, you know, I'm always here to support you. Your friends and families are here to support you. My one saying in life is you'd be actually really surprised how much more uh, people love you. Even on times or days, it doesn't feel like that. Don't forget to subscribe for more content on personal growth. Uh, I'm Adam representing Team SOS. In case I don't see you on the next one, have yourself a good morning, afternoon, evening. Most importantly, good night. God bless you. Take care. Stay strong. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.